Uh, this is Two Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango returning. Hello YouTube, I'm Ben, I'm 2 Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango and in today's video I'm going to take you through the basic setup of the N1MM logger system for the UK AC contest. As a relatively new operator, I'm really enjoying contesting. Whilst I'm not getting anywhere at the top of the leaderboards, I do enjoy making quick contacts with lots of people across the UK and beyond. And the UK AC contest is my favourite on 2 metres or 70 sems, simply because a lot of people have got the gear and therefore there are a lot of people calling and a lot of people making QSOs right across the nation. But what I found is that you need a really good logging system to keep up with the pace of the contest. And most people seem to recommend the N1MM logger. That's November 1 Mike Mike, who has created a system for logging QSOs quickly and easily in a contest. However, the UK AC contest isn't one of the default contests in the list. So this video shows you how to set up the N1MM logger and also set up the AC UK contest so that you can use N1MM for that contest. So first we need to go onto a web browser and go onto Google and search for N1MM logger. And the second hit down is the full installation. So if you click on the full installation and click through to the actual download site, and begin downloading the program N1MM Logger and uh, I always just download it into the default directory. Once it's downloaded, open it up and a security thing comes up which is why the screen just went black. Uh, you have to approve that and then click through until you get to this bit. If you're using Windows 10, it tries to save your personal files on the cloud but N1MM doesn't allow you to do that so you need to change the directory to a local drive like My Documents, something like that. Uh, and then it will go through the installation process and once the install is finished, it's going to ask you to restart the computer. It's really important to restart the computer, uh, but I'm not going to do it just now uh, because there's one more piece of information that I need to download from the N1MM Logger website. So going back to the search button, type in the contest that you're trying to install, in this case UKAC, and have a look down on the user-defined contests list to see whether the UKAC exists there. Uh, by going Control F and doing a little search for UKAC on this page, you'll see it there. And it tells us that we need to download this particular file. So copy and paste that file name. You're going to need that in a minute. Because what we're going to do now is go up to the very top of this page. Just below that table, you get the set up user defined contests list and the second link down there is the user defined contest and this is basically a list of files to download copy and paste the file name that you're looking for in there and download the file for the UK AC contest once you've downloaded it I like to put it somewhere helpful perhaps on the desktop would be a good place and then we really do need to restart the computer otherwise N1MM will not install properly so restart shut down once you've rebooted as I have just done load up the N1MM logger the initial time you're going to have to set up a new log because you've never used it before and then from then on you just open the existing log that's the bottom option on that list. Don't worry about all these errors at this point. It's, it's essentially just saying, look, you haven't set this up properly yet. Well, we know that. It's the first time we've used it. So it's going to ask you to start a new log. And uh, again, I just use the default settings for all of this until it brings you up with this particular screen where you're going to have to enter some details. So you need your call sign at the top there, your name, uh, in the name section. I would usually put my proper full address and postcode, but for uh, privacy, I've I've anonymized it on here, just to put a, a rough geographical area in there, but I would not ordinarily put in the full details. You'll need your grid square. Well, you're going to need that for the contest anyway, so you should know that. Uh, so mine is India Oscar 92 Romeo Papa. The CQ zone, well, if you're in the UK, that'll be zone 14. And the ITU zone, again, if you're in the UK, that'll be 27. That's for... Uh, HF contest really but we may as well put in all the information here the station that's what radio you're using so I'll put in my uh, Yezu 817 uh, which gives out five watts of power the antenna that I usually use is a six element Yagi and uh, I don't think there's anything else that you need to put in here for this just put DX for now we're going to change that in just a moment 
and booted into the main screen. I think all we need to do on this screen is put in our call sign or name for the operator there. And we're essentially just trying to make sure that the program boots properly into a locking state, which it has done. That's great. OK, let's come out of N1MM altogether. So next, you're going to find the local file that you created in the installation, which for me was in My Documents. Find the user-defined contest folder in there, uh, just near the bottom there, and go into there and then copy and paste the downloaded contest that you've got from their website into there. Once you've done that, you can then reboot N1MM Logger and going File and the top option on that list to create a new contest. On this long list of different contests here, this is where you'll find all of the preset contests, you've now added a brand new contest to that list, which is the VHF, UHF, RSGB contest that you've just added. So once you've found that and selected that, you're now ready to go. So to log a contact, you would put in their call sign. So if it was me, it would be 2E0BMT. Uh, let's just make this a bit bigger. Uh, the sent report uh it would be 59, let's say, your uh, serial number one. You've received a 59 back. It's obviously a strong signal, um, and their serial is one. And they give you their grid square. You press enter, and it is logged. It's as simple as that. Well, that is just the first step to setting up the N1MM logger. There's lots more that you can do by connecting it up to your radio, connecting it up to your rotator if you have one, and lots of other little tips and tricks along the way. But for now, I'll leave it at that so that hopefully you can quickly and easily get set up with N1MM ready for the UK AC contest. If you've enjoyed this video, do like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find lots of other videos that I'm putting together. I hope these have been helpful to you. I'm Ben, I'm 2 Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, off and clear. 7-3. Uh, this is 2 Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, returning.